Hello everyone, this is Tianyang Jiang from Tsinghua University, and I'm happy to introduce Fusion Read, a new SSD array designed for consistent low latency. This is collaboration work between Tsinghua University and the Qatar Computing Research Institute. The use of all flash arrays, or AFAs, has been increasing, especially in places like banks, data centers, and clouds. For example, an SSD array can be used as a buffer for faster writes in front of a distributed HDD-based storage cluster. The global AFA market has been growing fast in the past years, valued at around $5 billion in 2016, and expected to reach $18 billion by 2023. Vendors like Dell EMC, NetApp, and Pew Storage have AFA products hosting hundreds to thousands of drives behind a single controller. They aggregate the IOPS and bandwidth of individual drives and compensate for SSD's higher rate of having uncorrectable errors with parity-based fault tolerance. However, AFAs suffer from severe performance variability. Compared to their HDD counterparts, they are much faster, but their tail latency deviates way more from the norm. Here we give a quick comparison between the latency variance factor, calculated as the ratio between the P99 and median latency of performing exchange trees. On clean disks, this factor is 12 on HDD rates and 93 on SSD ones. When the disks age, HDD rates don't seem to fill it, while SSD rates see this ratio further increase to over 700. The reason is both due to the higher performance variability of individual SSDs than HDDs, as well as the magnifying effect brought by read operations as the whole array suffers when any memory disk slows down. We performed experiments to study these problems at three levels, workloads, software, and devices. Here are our observations. First, workloads have intermittent I.O. When we put them together, their I.O. bursts often interleave with one another, like shown here with four sample workloads. This suggests that Rather than physically partitioning a large disk pool to serve different concurrent workloads, we should go for an O4O model, where more disks could serve the busiest applications at the time. Second, SSD read writes suffer large software overhead, as shown in the second figure, where we break down the read latency roughly into three parts, read I.O. in blue, read I.O. in orange, and software overhead in gray for RAID 5 groups on HDD, SSD, and RAM disk. Hard disks are slow, so software overhead is relatively small, while it dominates the total overhead for RAID on RAM disk. With SSD RAID, software overhead occupies 70% of the total latency, and the absolute value of such overhead is 75 times higher than with RAM disk, meaning that it's not due to parity computation, we found much of the overhead comes from synchronization due to data dependency, so we like a shorter write path. Finally, while it's shown that SSDs suffer slowdowns by activities such as garbage collection, our study with six SSDs, both consumer and data centers models, measured the magnitude and duration of such latency spikes. The red figure here gives an example where we see one on a data center SSD lasting around 60 seconds, with a latency increase of 1,000 times. This leads us to argue that SSD latency spikes are tall and lasting enough to be identified at the wrong time, so we can stay away. Based on these observations, we propose Fusion Read, a new design for all flash arrays that reduces both the median and tail latencies of SSD reads. Fusion Read works on commodity SSDs, with no knowledge of or modification to SSD firmware. More specifically, it uses solutions motivated by our individual observations. To offer an O4O model, it spreads requests to all disks in a storage pool. To shorten the read-write path, it employs two-phase writes, using replicated writes as a buffer to smaller read-write requests. Fusion Read doesn't have physically separate areas for replicated and read data. As we will see later, even replicated data are written in a strip-ready manner 
for them to be later latently converted into read storage without additional data movement. Finally, to sidestep SSD devices undergoing temporary latency hikes, Fusion Read adopts a lightweight spec detection at runtime to redirect write requests to healthy SSDs, who remain the majority in a large disk pool. We give more details about these major solutions in the next few slides. Within a large storage pool, Fusion reduces read decluttering to distribute stripes in a balanced way to larger arrays. The novel challenge here is to support partition stripe writes flexibly, to absorb small random writes fast, and detour around temporarily slow drives. To this end, Fusion Read performs two-level mapping, first using a dynamic block mapping table to map user logical address space to an internal logical layer. This mapping is designed for fast out-of-place writes. Accesses to this internal logical layer is then translated to the logical space of specific SSDs using a static mapping function. Here different declustering strategies could be used, such as read 50 and pseudo random read. Fusion Read selects Read Plus, our previous work in FASTA 2018, which achieves deterministic addressing and guaranteed uniform data distribution. Fusion Read focuses on read optimization. For larger writes, Fusion Read directly goes to read storage as parity updates are cheaper here without read modified writes. For requests under a size threshold, rather than following the long read write path, we perform two phase writes where we first write data into multiple replicas to have the same fault tolerance as the target read level. However, the data will eventually be converted into the more space efficient read storage. Knowing that, we carefully select the placement of replicated data blocks. Basically, we make replicated writes to pair stripes, the blue and pink stripes here, distributed to the SSD pool with our read decluttering algorithm. When it is time to convert such replicated data to read, we simply pick one of these two stripes holding identical data, calculate and fill the parity block, and perform fast metadata updates without any data movement. Suppose we pick this blue stripe, data on the pink one are simply discarded and we can reclaim this stripe. This is what we call in-position conversion. You can find more details such as the read request threshold setting in our paper. Now to the device level, Fusion reduces a lightweight spec detection mechanism to avoid temporarily slow SSDs. It constantly monitors the request processing status of each SSD, as indicated by this per disk gauge. The underlying mechanism is a sliding window-based, coarse granular counter system that could quickly detect stragglers with very low overhead. In this case, two out of the 30 SSDs in this port are found to be under latency spikes. The overall model of Fusion Read provides ample opportunities for us to stay away from these problem disks, as at any given time, the vast majority of disks are behaving normally. With read decluttering, here instead of writing to the only stripe, which has one block on currently slow disks, we choose the green stripe, sitting across normal behaving disks. When the involved SSD is coming out of their temporary slowdown according to our monitoring results, the orange stripe will return to service. Our evaluation is done using a pool of 30 Intel SSDs, with server configures as listed here. We tested with both trace-driven workloads and real applications. For comparison, we also tested two common read configurations, 4 read 5 and read 50, which construct a four individual 6 plus 1 read 5 arrays or a level of read 0 on top of them. In addition, we compare with TorRead and LogRead, two recent systems from literature that target SSD performance variabilities. Due to time limit, we show a few sample results, starting with mixes of trace-driven workloads. From a set of eight heaviest storage traces we found from SNEA and our own, we randomly choose 20 of all 74 workload mixes, run on the five systems. On the left, we show the average of median latency from all requests, with the error bar showing variance across workloads. Here, Fusion Rate is able to significantly outperform all other systems, both in the average value 
and consistency of per workload media latency. It does so by making requests more efficient, using its two-phase method as well as spreading I.O. bursts to more disks. On the right, we show similar measurements, but for P99 tail latency. The result is even more dramatic, with fusion rate's capability of avoiding SSDs under latency spikes, which delivers an up to 35 times reduction in such tail latency. We also tested with real applications, and here we again only outline sample results. When running RocksDB with two YCSB workloads with significant red ratio, Fusion Rate is able to reduce tail latency by over four times from rate 50. Such result is obtained with Fusion Rate's auto conversion from replicated to thread storage, which itself brings a slight increase of 18% of the tail latency. Meanwhile, with such conversion, Fusion Rate's extra space consumption brought by replicated writes largely becomes temporary, as shown in this figure, showing a factor of space consumption against the application data store. Without such conversion, Fusion Rate has a space consumption factor over 2, caused by its replicated writes and the potential write space overhead. With the conversion turned on, its space consumption returns to 1.17, the same level as RAID 5. For four results placed in our paper. To summarize, Fusion Rate improves both average case and worst case SSD rate performance on large commodity SSD pools. Thank you, and we are happy to take your questions.